hello again YouTube back again with another update video for Redmi 1S. This time we are getting the developer version for MIUS 6 and this is the official MIUS 6. Uh, the recent one is 5.4.10, it means the 10th of April this was released and it's still in beta as you can see there. But overall, everything just works fine, and I am actually in the uh, in the beta team for MIUI ROM for testing this ROM, and all actually works fine. Everything works, unless probably just a few small bugs, uh, like small bugs like here. You usually, if you uh, already use the previous version of unofficial MIUI six, you can set the brightness by just tapping on the line here but you can't you, you need to drag this dot around which is not very good not very practical but at least why well, it works auto brightness works everything works um, vibration camera camera works fine as well HDR works fine as well I have some of it there but oh yeah I haven't actually got a picture for HDR but I can assure you it is actually working, flash works and yeah general use for the phone works like the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and everything else like one handed mode works fine you can select 4 inches, 3.5 inches and so and so forth yeah um, music runs fine as well uh, this is the Chinese version, so you can get this uh, music app, which got like a streaming functionality. You get more features here, and music player looks very nice. Swipe to the right to get to your playlist, your music. Swipe to the center, you got all of your settings here. This one is your equalizer and buttons. All of them works fine, the FX works fine, I got the piston too, so yeah, it sounds really amazing. And uh, swipe to the left, you got the lyrics, all works fine. You can see there, uh, gallery, gallery also works fine, everything is there. Yeah, a bit slow to load, but it is fine. Uh, battery life is pretty good, I have used it from like 27th of March since the first time of the beta ROM available and it has been pretty good with the battery itself screen on time right now is at 3 hours but I still got like 35% of battery left so it is fine I am usually getting around 4 to 5 hours of screen on time which is really really nice for a phone with 2000 mAh battery Okay, let's see what else. Call works fine. Speaker actually works fine. Let's let's test it out. See there, uh, sound. Volume is actually very very loud. And uh, let's see there. Yeah, something like that. Alarm voice. Don't know if I can hear that, but earpiece works fine, calling works fine, vibrate and all of the features is working. Oh yeah, some slight problem here, the CIT like the for your for per tools is not working, hardware test. So that is a bummer but it works fine. Uh, amount of RAM available is not too great. I mean, right now, with all of the apps running, I only get like 100, 150 maximum. But uh, switching between apps is generally pretty fine. Um, yeah, but if you do launch like a few apps that is a bit heavy, then there is going to be like just a sec like the launcher redraws so if I close all of it there you get like 187 now not very good so um, heavy gaming like 
for instance like Skyforce after some time it does get a bit laggy but if you restart your phone and all fresh it runs fine it runs really 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 runs fine uh, other stuff like the radio now changed uh, now there is a streaming function but for some reason with Wi-Fi it doesn't work so I need to turn it off go back to radio and there you go use FM radio to get to use the normal radio which is a bit but, uh, I don't know, this option is its not really necessary, isn't it? It should be just an option to go straight to the FM radio, but fortunately I don't use it that much, so it is fine by me. Now, I got the Play Store here. First time you install this, there is not going to be a Play Store right there. So you can search this application, Google Installer, and once you do, just get yourself a good internet connection and choose this Google Play and there will be like install button right here if you haven't installed it or just recently flashed it just install and there's going to be like services install them all download them all there's going to be a button right there and all of it is going to install and after that reboot your phone because sometimes it won't work like out of the box you need to reboot it but for me it is fine routing is already pre-rooted this ROM as well root access you need to enable this the trick to do this is actually to go to the app and then it says it can't get the root access you need to go back here and then turn it on once you turn it on you get like five second step it is pretty tiresome but at least well it is a bit of a security put into the MIUI notification looks pretty much the same look at that see there's like Chinese stuff right there you can't really know what it is uh, lock screen looks fine there's swipe to the left to go to the camera all your notification is going to be displayed right there so yeah overall performance is pretty good uh, Launching apps is pretty snappy as well, though yeah, but amount of RAM available is not really that good. But so yeah, if you're a heavy gamer, you might not really like it, but me myself, I'm just a casual gamer, so I'm pretty much fine with it. So yeah, that is pretty much like the over overview or quick look to MIUI 6, so hopefully there will be uh, official version for global version very soon but this version is shaping out to be like a very nice update for Redmi One is very, very much awaited but yeah it is actually recommended to flash this because it is actually faster for me than the V5 version 5 this is my opinion on that but your results may vary depends on what you do Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching and be subscribed to and leave a comment, leave a like and be sure to check out maybe there's another update video that I'm going to get to you guys. Okay, so thanks for watching.